pleasure to have Farm Minister Roman here uh, and uh, to uh, continue to work together on strengthening even more the partnership between the United States and Bangladesh. We are, in fact, celebrating 50 years uh, of diplomatic relations. And even as we think back uh, on those 50 years, we're really looking ahead to uh, the start of the next 50 uh, and the work that we can do together, as I said, to strengthen uh, our partnership. Uh, Bangladesh has been a leader in rallying other countries to deal with uh, the climate crisis that the planet uh, is facing. We deeply appreciate that. We've been working closely together as well on uh, COVID-19. Uh, we are proud to have been able to contribute uh, through COVAX some 61 million uh, vaccine doses uh, to Bangladesh. Uh, in turn, Bangladesh, of course, is showing extraordinary uh, humanity and uh, generosity in, in hosting nearly 1 million Rohingya uh, who have had to flee persecution uh, in Burma. We're grateful for that. The work that you've done uh, as one of the strongest supporters of UN peacekeeping uh, around the world uh, and uh, many other things as well. But we'll have an opportunity today to discuss uh, the work we're doing together bilaterally uh, in the region uh, and indeed even, uh, even globally. So, Mr. Minister, welcome. It's very good to have you. Uh, and we look forward to uh, the conversation ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you for giving, uh, giving me time and uh, this meeting with my colleagues. And also, I'm thankful to you for donating 61 million you know, the vaccines, the highest uh, uh, the, among all the countries, I think Bangladesh is the number one in terms of receiving That's the right. vaccine. And also, in addition, 131 million uh, for the recent uh, economic assistance. And I'm also thankful because you have uh, declared the genocide in Myanmar. And we're so happy with it. I hope uh, there will be some repatriation of these uh, persecuted people. And I'm very pleased that yes, today, the other day we received a letter from President Biden. And it is an excellent letter. It tells what we want to do. It talks about the last 50 years. We have done a remarkable achievement, and the U.S. has been always a friend of Bangladesh in during our bad times and our good times. And we look forward for a bright future. And that's why I'm here. And also, I would like to say that over the last 50 years, Bangladesh really achieved many, a uh, lot of achievements. We are known to be a bottomless basket, but now we are a, a vibrant economy, a land of opportunity. And the U.S. Uh, has been a great partner and friend over the years. You have supported us, and U.S. Bangladesh could be your achievement in Bangladesh could be, you know, magnified because it is U.S. who helped us all the way. But Bangladesh is doing pretty well. U.S. is our the biggest trading partner, and also cumulative, you know, the investment in Bangladesh, mm. the U.S. is the largest. But most of the investment has been in the energy sector. Mm. Maybe it is time to look beyond that. And I'm looking forward for more enhanced and solidified, rock-solid relationship with the United States of America. And I always have some indebtedness to you, because when I was uh, you know, homeless, uh, well, jobless and stateless, it is USA that provided me a home and a job, and I'm thankful for that. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, Mr. Richard. Thank you all. Thanks, Brad.